Hello and welcome to this presentation informing you about the Key Stage 4 music course that students study at Furness Academy, the RSL Level 2 in Music Practitioners, which specialises in performing, run by Rock School. This vocational course is ideal for any student who enjoys playing an instrument and wants to develop their skills further. It is a vocational course designed to prepare musicians for a career in the music industry of today. The requirements of a working musician have changed greatly over the last 10 years and this course prepares students to be able to perform, write, produce and understand their work so it is ready to share with the world. So why study music? Firstly, I need to dispel the myth that taking music is an easy option. It certainly isn't. It requires dedication, a willingness to work individually and at times as part of a team and the important skill of working to clear deadlines. The course will help you to build on valuable transferable life skills by developing confidence in your own ideas and expressing them through projects and performance work. If you choose music as an option, Furness Academy is unique in that it provides students with a compulsory instrumental lesson that is delivered by the tutors from South Lakes Rock School. This is invaluable for the students as it provides technical and practical development that will enable them to become more accomplished musicians and learn repertoire and skills that can be utilised in their final exam. As you can see from the current slide, the specific musical skills which Furness Academy students can expect to develop through this course are a deeper social and historical knowledge of contemporary musical genres, relevant music theory for contemporary musicians, practical collaborative performances of well-known songs, the ability to compose to a brief, the understanding of musical promotion as an artist and as a producer, and the live music performance option, which will show and the progress of their instrumental skills. As you can see, there are three units that are studied over duration of the course. The musical knowledge unit allows st students to select two contrasting styles that they wish to understand in greater depth. They then have to research in detail the development of the style and discuss the impact that this genre and key artists have had on history and on music today. The other assessed task here is to create a radio show. This allows the students to show their musical understanding that they have gained through the selected styles by analysing key songs. Within the instrumental study unit, students work closely with their tutors on developing target setting and working to a rehearsal schedule. They will learn how to care and maintain their instrument and learn the importance of practising efficiently and successfully. The controlled assessment is 40% of the final mark and is marked by an external examiner from outside the school. Students will need to perform in front of a live audience for 10 to 15 minutes. This can be either as a soloist or part of a band or ensemble. They will be set to brief by the exam board which will help them choose their repertoire and then they will be assessed on their planning skills, production plans and schedules, health and safety and their overall performance. This will take place in the spring term of year 11. As I mentioned on the previous slide, the third and final unit is externally marked, but the other two are marked internally and then moderated. In line with other vocational qualifications, the grades awarded are pass, merit and distinction. Unfortunately, if a pass criteria is not met, the grade would be unclassified. There are many different paths that can be undertaken post year 11. By studying this course, the natural progression would be to study music at Kendall College following their BTEC Level 2 or 3 course. However, if you wanted to do more classical musical approaches, you could also undertake A-level music at Ulverston Sixth Form. As you can also see, careers are varied and wonderful and don't necessarily just rely on your performance skills. I hope that this has provided you with an insight into how diverse and exciting this course can be and allow you to understand the requirements that would be needed to allow you to successfully study the RSL Music Practitioners course at Key Stage 4.